Clicky AI versus Pictory. Best faceless video maker AI for YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back. Today we will be taking a quick look at both of these AI platforms and to see which one is better to get started with creating faceless content on YouTube. So let's get into it. I've left a link in the description box down below for you guys to get started with Pictory and you guys can use the code CREATOR20 to get 20% off of your preferred plan on Pictory. Now let's jump right in and get started with the same script and I'm going to use this script. It's just a basic little script that I have and I'm going to be using this on both Flicky and AI and we will compare the similarities and the differences that both of these platforms have. So getting started started with Flicky AI, simply clicking on new file over here and you're going to select video, click on submit and we're going to paste our, now we're just pasting our script over here. The script has been added. You guys can see at the bottom you have auto generate new scene options as well and you can see on the right side you have your voiceover options, you have where you want to place your voiceovers. Now, one thing about Flicky AI is that it does not give you any of these options beforehand, so you cannot really view what kind of video you want to create before you enter your content. And after that, we are just going to click on auto pick for all of our scenes that we want to create. It's going to begin auto picking all the scenes that we want. So while the Flicky AI completes the auto make, we are going to get started with Pictory. So on Pictory, we will just click on script to video, click on proceed, and we're just going to paste the script over here. Once you do that, you can click on proceed seed on the top right and then you can choose the template so this is an option that you don't find in flicky ai is that you can actually choose the type of template that you want so how you want your text to appear all of that can be decided before you actually generate the video which can be pretty hasslesome when you're using flicky ai so let's say i want to use some yellow text audio or yellow text subtitles so i just want to use basic ones so i'm just using this and i'm going to go with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio because i want to create youtube videos that are faceless now it's going to take a couple of seconds flicky ai pretty much took the same amount of time while it auto generated the visuals although sometimes with flicky ai you don't get the auto pick option uh, directly applied to all of them sometimes you can just click on auto pick media and it's going to do it for all of the scenes that you have but it skips out some of them so we're just letting it do its thing and select all of our visual scenes so once all of the Visual scenes have been picked out. You guys can see they have also been picked out on the Pictory AI. So in Pictory AI, we can see we entered our script in the same way. So both of them have the similar kind of structure. Now with Flicky AI, if you can see, so if you guys can see the subtitles are currently not appearing. So it automatically obviously made the script formulated in a way that it is distributed or cut down. However, in Pictory AI, you can see it just entered the script directly into the scene. So this is one thing to keep in mind. You can easily split this as well. So you can click on over here, click on split scene. And you can click on the next section, click on split scene just like this. And just like that, your text will be divided into a bunch of different sections instead of having it directly on one section. So it's the same video. It's doing pretty much the same thing as Flicky AI. However, Pictory AI does not intuitively do this. Now, the next thing that you need to know is the kind of auto pick that they have. So if we take a look at some of the auto pick videos at Flicky and Pictory AI. So as you guys can see, they both have chosen pretty good visual content. It is decent. I wouldn't say one is really comparable or better than other. It really depends on your niche as well. But I do think that more often than not, Pictory AI just has the better visual element. And Pictory has, you know, a bunch of different options and it usually just selects better visual elements. However, Pictory AI and Flicky AI are very similar. So I wouldn't say that Flicky AI does a worse job. It, they are just formulated differently and Flicky does a pretty good job as well. 
So in that regard, I would just say that Pictory AI just has a slight edge. Now, moving on to the next section is background music. You can add background music in both of these platforms. The option is pretty accessible. You can see on the top, you will have your uh, background music option and you can click on choose file. They have a bunch of different stock library options as well. The same goes with the Pictory AI. You can go into audio and choose the AI. You can choose any of these stock music options as well. Now, if we go back into Flicky, you will be able to see the speed and volume. With Flicky AI, you can increase the speed and decrease it, and you can do the same with Pictory. Now, after that, if you take a look at your convert options, uh, you guys can see that Pictory actually has a better visual element in terms of generating art. So if you click on the visual elements and click on AI art, you can ask it to generate any kind of visual element. So let's say I want to create a large lake in Amsterdam. So, you know, you can add whatever you want whatever kind of media content or whatever visual element that you want, you can ask it to create. You can ask it to regenerate art as well, and you can choose the style that you want. So if you're going for a fantasy art style, digital style, tile text, uh, pixel art, origami, photographic style, it really does not matter. You can choose whatever you want. And once you do this, you can click on use this art and insert the art in your visual elements. And that is totally up to you. Now, another great thing about Flicky AI is that you can click on your settings over here, click on your aspect ratio, and you can change it from over here once you have completed the editing options. So you can pretty much save the same video in multiple different formats. You can do this with Victory as well. However, the video elements sometimes look a little cropped on the Pictory elements as well. So on Flicky, it does not look as bad. I think they just do a better job in resizing their video content for this. So if I click on portrait over here, it is going to crop most of it, but they have better detection on the basic images. So moving on to the next thing, which is voiceovers, which are very important in creating your faceless YouTube channel because they are going to be one of the most essential and intriguing elements of your YouTube channel. So to do that, you guys can see if we take a look at Flicky AI, you will be able to see the voiceover that you have. You can click on the voiceover over here and you will get a bunch of different options. You have multiple different dialects, gender and voice styles as well. And voice styles are not something that you really find in Pictory AI. You can go into Pictory AI and you have multiple different voices, languages as well. Then you also have the voice speed that you want to choose. You have male and female voices. However, you don't really have a variating style that you have in Flicky AI. So that is another ahead point. So it's another major thing that makes uh, Flicky AI leap ahead of Pictory AI. So in those terms, I do think that Flicky AI can sometimes be a better option. However, in terms of creating content that is going to be matchable, high quality, and easily uploadable directly to your YouTube channel, I think that Pictory does a pretty great job with that in terms of visuals and in terms of stock footage as well. Both of these platforms allow you to add multiple different elements. However, if you take a look at the editing options in Flicky AI, they are a little limited considering if you have one scene over here, you can insert images and GIFs into it as well. So you guys can see this is the GIF. So just like that, the GIF will replace your video. However, if we go on to Pictory AI and click on elements and I go on to GIFs and I want to insert a picture within a picture, I can easily do that. So if I just click on this, I can insert a GIF within the video. And this is a great way which can improve the video quality that you have. Depending on your faceless niche, you might not need this feature, but it can be super helpful if you're working in a celebrity type niche, or even if you're working in a more automated, in a more serious niche. 
having these types of options to expand your horizons of the of the content that you're working in can be great for your youtube channel so i wouldn't really say both of them are super different they are very much alike they're going to give you great content on both of these platforms and if you want a discount on both pictory and flicky ai you can get a 20 percent creator 20 discount on pictory and a 10 percent discount on flicky 10 using the code flicky 10 so make sure to check those codes down in the description box down below now in terms of general usability both of them are amazing and it's really up to you if features like creating ai art are super essential and having a particular tone to your videos is super essential then you can go with flicky ai well if creating something that is going to be very direct, is going to be very time efficient and high quality, then Pictory is definitely the AI tool for you. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.